Welcome aboard our sailing vessel. We are heading into the peaceful and warm tropical waters in the middle of the sea. The waves gently being pushed aside by our passing, the sun shining overhead, the bright blue sky about us, the soft breezes caressing us lovingly, the song of the dolphins resounding as if from the deep. As we gaze in front of us, a tropical island begins to come into view. We see the waves in playful motion crashing upon the golden sand beaches of this inviting world. We see too the towering coconut palms dancing in the wind. Overhead we are greeted by seabirds who are excited about us coming to their home. The bay is very shallow here, so we'll, we will depart our sailing ship and climb into the rowboat which has been lowered to the water's surface. Our guide extends his helpful hand to steady our step. Once in the small boat, we take the seat of honor in the front. Our senses awake to all the sensations we now encounter. Our guide rows the little vessel through the crescent-shaped bay right to the shore where he bids us good journey and helps us step out onto this holy land. The moment our bare foot touches the warm sand and receding tide, we are immediately transformed into our bodies of light. And turning around to thank our guide and bid him farewell, we discover that he has melted before our eyes into the ether of the finer world of spirit. We silently give our thanks and he telepathically responds, directing our attention to the small but well-traveled path at the edge of the lush tropical forest. Our sense of smell comes alive now as we approach this pathway and our eyes are filled with the delight of bouquets of orchids hanging from the trees. Wild ginger and tropical hibiscus line this ancient roadway, and we begin to hear the songs of the rainforest creatures welcoming us to their home. The frogs, the winged insects, the small furry creatures, all joining in harmony and inviting us deeper into their island world. If we listen carefully, we can faintly hear the majestic waterfall which is the destination of our journey. Our feet now firmly upon this kind path, we notice that the very sand upon which we stand is filled with a glowing light that intensifies in brilliance each step we take along the way. As we walk, we come into the presence of a wise old banyan tree, its roots and branches intertwining, providing natural seats where we can take a rest break for a few moments. As we reach our brother tree, he invites us to relax in his arms. And as we sit down, our consciousness expands and he shows us through pictures in our mind's eye, the sojourn of our soul. From this moment back into the recesses of time we travel to the first day we entered this life. As an observer, we watch eagerly the years unfold upon this earth life. We feel the closeness of our parents and those that nurtured us in the early days of our young lives. As each new experience added to the total of our understanding, the pictures, like a living movie, moved us closer to today. We saw the achievements as well as the disappointments in our lives. And very interestingly, we heard the quiet voice of conscience narrating the entire process. Indeed, we felt as if we were in the presence of God himself. Our rest over, we stood up and hugged our new friend goodbye. As we stepped back on our path, we looked ahead and saw a small hill with a path winding its way with switchbacks beyond our sight. The sound of the waterfall becoming clearer now, we proceed to the base of this small hill. As we approach, we see a small table situated at the first bend in the path. We are drawn to it and we see laying upon it a large book, open, and there written in precious flames of light, like a rainbow reflection of a crystal upon a white wall, we see our name entered. In fact, it is the most recent words printed upon this page. We are filled with joy, knowing that we are be being given the special blessing of being in the garden with a presence that we know but cannot see. As we touch the edge of the book with love and respect, our bodies change again and we find that we have now melted into spirit. Our bodies no longer carrying us towards the waterfall, we find that we are now 
traveling entirely by thought alone. Now with our inner senses mirroring those of the physical body, we see, smell, hear, touch, and taste spiritually. And we continue climbing the path, leading us higher and closer to our destination. Our previous view of this paradise world fades into the background, and now in luminous colors, we see the myriad stages of life of the finer kingdoms. We find, too, that now we have to think a thought, and a response fills our being from the ever-felt but unseen presence that has been with us each step of this journey. As we glide now effortlessly towards the melodious sound of the waterfall, we see that we are no longer walking upon the path, but are instead now floating towards the source of the sound. The instant we think of the waterfall, we find ourselves at its edge. There at the base of this glorious fount of water divine, we are looking into the pond that catches every drop of this sacred elixir. As we look deeper into the pond, we see our reflections of spirit, of light, and the material bodies we wear. But we see something else. We see the holy presence. We see the breath of life. We watch as the assembly of the divine ones surround us. And then it happens. We lose consciousness of self and find now that we are but a particle within the great and dazzling flame that blinds us to all but its presence. And we are wrapped with the all of infinity, with the joy and love and wisdom of a hundred billion galaxies. No longer past or future, in the eternal now we are here, in the body of God. The eons of time swirling about like gigantic thoughts on a multicolored background of mist. The heartbeat of forever pounding us into perfectly tuned cells of the body. The tremendous happiness of being gluing the now together. The chorus of the heaven worlds penetrating and resonating each fiber of this reality. The wisdom overlaying eternity. Each experience coexisting with the other simultaneously. The elixir of life pumping through the isness of the all. And in that moment we know peace, one. And in that knowing we become aware that we have been returned to our individual body still a part of the divine, but now with a consciousness once again of self. The reflection in the pond dims, and we look now into the waterfall itself. As we look, we are gently gliding towards the waterfall and begin to ascend to the top from where it flows. As we near the top, we reach out in our spirit body to touch this heavenly water. And when we do, we become the water. Our fluid body now connects us to all liquid on the planet. We now sense that whatever we reach for in life, we become. And we understand that our consciousness will take us anywhere that we can imagine and beyond. As water, we follow the course upward to the source and find that it's proceeding from the mind of God. Becoming aware of the source, we are fulfilled. And in our fulfillment, we find ourselves at peaceful rest. And what seems but a moment later, we awaken. The gentle ebbing of the waves rubbing against the sides of our ship. We discover that we have been dreaming. Awake now, we climb to the deck above and see in the distance the island that we are headed to, to Paradise Island. We hear the songs of the seabirds and we remember who we are. Having been there, we know that it is now time that we come out of this deeper sleep and slumber of life and return to our physical bodies to once again pick up our day-to-day -day world. As we slowly return to thinking about our earth life, we will take a few deep breaths to return to the present now. Peace, dear friend. Enjoy your life. Love every particle. And may the light guide each step you take on the path of life. Peace. Peace. Peace.